welcome. Dr. Carol Folt uh, got the opportunity to watch uh, her being introduced to our university and how, uh, how exciting it was. So impressed with her and looking forward to having the chance to visit with her, get to know her, and uh, see all the great things she's going to do at uh, USC. Also, would like to thank uh, Dr. Wanda Austin for all that she has done uh, during this interim time. Uh, absolutely uh, brilliant and phenomenal person. And it's just been awesome uh, to watch her um, guide us through uh, some turbulent times. Um, today was an unbelievable day. It, it was great to have um, a competitive uh, atmosphere. It's really our opportunity to get everybody off the field today and really see some live work and let the guys compete and have fun. I thought it was back-to-back -back days, a very competitive atmosphere, uh, and be able to see kind of where we're at. It, it was neat to see, like I told the guys out there, how fast things go within this offense and how fast you've got to communicate and get lined up for the next play uh, rather than talking or, or all of a sudden celebrate. You, you better get ready for the next play because it's coming in a hurry. But it's a good week of work, six great practices, uh, nine to go. We need these next three weeks um, and looking forward to it. With that, I'll take any questions you got. Are you concerned about Tal Noah after he went down? Yeah, we'll see. You know, he's been in a non-contact this whole time and just, you know, fell and, and something tweaked. So we'll have to see what exactly what it is. The good news is we are in spring. Uh, it is March. Uh, and like I told him, he'll be 100% by the time we get get to fall camp. Is that the same arm you injured last year? It looked, like the, it looked like the same arm. So we'll see. It looks like a tweak, but we'll see where it's at. Stephen Carr and uh, Vavai were back today. Yeah, you know they've we've had a string of the flu run through us, and they uh, they were out uh, the first two practices early this week, and um, uh, got them back today. You know, really with the off the off week of spring break plus missing Tuesday and Thursday, we just wanted to get some functional football movement before we get into live contact with them again. So got them lathered up today. They got to play a little bit in some individual work, and they'll be back next week. How about Marquise? step uh yeah you, you know we saw it last year you know being able for him to gain a little game experience in the four games that he got to play still be redshirted big physical back and really you know you when you get in those live periods you see his value a lot of times everybody thinks they're getting them sometimes when they thud them up or, or touch them that's a big man to get to the ground and um, by far had, had a great day today um, I'll have to watch the tape, Adam. It, it felt fluid. Uh, I, you know, I, really with all three quarterbacks today, it, you know, I didn't see a ton of critical errors. We had a tip ball interception uh, in a blitz pickup period, but it looked like everything. Everybody was getting everybody lined up. It looked smooth. Um, but uh, yeah, JT did a nice job today. I look forward to watching the film. I can give you more on Tuesday. JT said he was looking to be more vocal coming into this year. Um, was that something that was hard for him coming in as a true freshman and graduating a year early? I think he did a good job last year of earning the respect of the guys. You know, it's when you're coming in and you're a rookie um, and having the availability, you got to do it by action first. You know, you got to show up early every day. You got to give your best effort every day. You got to produce every day. And then as you show and gain that respect, then you can start being vocal. You know, you just don't walk in as a guy that's supposed to be in a senior year and, and all of a sudden be that type of leader. You had dynamic guys in Cam and Porter and those type of men. That was their role. Um, but, you know, as quarterbacks always, as they produce and gain respect, yeah, you want to be able to see that vocal. You mentioned imploring him about uh, improving his core strength. Mm -hmm. Is that showing up? Yeah, you know, he's down to uh, 211 right now. I, I think him and Jack are like two. 210 to 11 right now, and, and Maddie's right at it. Uh, all three of them look extremely fit, and you can tell in this offense there is some movement that you got to be able to do. Um, there's going to be times you're going to need to create with the end offense. Somebody falls down, and you got to create in the pocket. But he he is he's got rid of some of the baby fat. Um, he's toned up. Uh, he's, he's around 211 right now. He was bragging the other day, and uh, uh, has really uh, trimmed down. Much good. Where was he before? Uh, I think it was right around, it was right at the 2.8 level. Okay. Does that help him make a play like he did with the uh, going left? And yeah, no question. And I, I think any time anytime that you and, – and any time that you gain a year, I've seen it with each and every quarterback. You know, when you're in a college-style strength and conditioning program, you're adding core strength, you're adding overall strength, you're adding mobility and quickness. And, you know, going from year one to year two, um, you know, I've watched all our quarterbacks just grow. Um, Matt, I was 
kidding with Matt that when he first got here, he was a, he was a skinny string bean, and now he's a full grown horse. I mean, he's he, he looks great, and, and Jack has always been kind of razor like in his body, but all three guys look like uh, college quarterbacks. How would you just assess where the offense is after six practices? Well, I'm very, I'm very pleased. I, you know, no, it's not perfect. Um, I think today was a reality check for us because uh, I don't think the guys, until you get everybody on the sideline and say, okay, hey, we're play, playing real live ball. The ball's going to move. We're playing first, second, and third down. Whatever happens, you don't realize how fast it goes and how fast you got to get your eyes back for the next play and how fast you got to get lined up to be able to get the get keep the defense off. Off base. So um, today was a really good day to kind of test rally. The ball moved very well up and down the field. So I'm pleased. Let's do one more. We'll let Joey take the last question on his last day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> come on up what's, here, bud. You get right here with me. Come here. Come here. Come here. I will say this. This guy's done an unbelievable job. Unbelievable job. And we'll miss you, big horse. You've done a great job. Great job. Go ahead. Last question. Who you miss more, Zach Elfan or me? I'm going to miss you. <laughs> uh, no, uh, no. He, Joey's done a great job for us, and, and we've been blessed. You know, that's the one thing that I've I've seen in my time here from Los Angeles is just yellow pros, pros. You know, and and whether it's Zach, whether it's Joey, whether it's this crew here, I've been around. I thank all of y'all because you you've always treated me with respect, and I and I try to do the same in return. Treat treat y'all with respect each and every day, and there'll be good days and bad days. And if I do bad stuff, I deserve it. Go ahead and say it. If I do good stuff, I hope you pat me on the back every now and then. But, Joey, thank you. Appreciate you, buddy. Y'all take care. Have a